Assalamu alaikum guys and welcome to Smile to Jannah. Most kids nowadays want to be gamers and YouTubers. Astaghfirullah. But here you have, how to say, probably the most prominent YouTubers in Britain asking some very deep questions. Yeah, God. What if this is a simulation? What if we're a bug in their system? We're not supposed to exist. But also, we don't know what makes life. These questions are to do with purpose, the universe, if there is more life out there. That we can't be the only things. It's impossible. It's, it has to be it impossible. Is, but it, it's impossible. Well, no, it's not impossible. Which begs the question, if becoming a gamer or entertainer was the end goal, then why would these guys be asking such questions? Good Lord. Because no matter what area of life you're in, the question of why, of purpose, of intentionality will override anything and everything else. Why? Yeah. And it will always niggle at you and it will always be at the back of your mind and will affect your life. And the only way it won't is if you intoxicate yourself with pleasures, yeah? And with drugs and alcohol and your carnal desires. Otherwise, if you genuinely sit there, these sorts of questions need an answer, need your time. So in this video, the sidemen react to a clip about the observable universe and how grand it is. They did exactly what the Quran instructs us to do as human beings, which is to reflect and ponder on the creation of Allah, of God and you could see their reactions. Higher age of the universe. Right. Oh, stop, 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 oh, stop, stop the video. Oh, how does that, I don't understand. How does that exist? Where? What? Yeah. I was just, just The whole thing is just mental, isn't it, really? But a oh, wait, hey, hey yo, that's not, not it. That's not yeah, it. No, 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 it's still going. Bruv, look at this. This is, but, and this is the observable universe. This is what yeah, we yeah. can observe. A lot of hardcore atheists and pseudo spiritualists don't even like us asking the question of why. Sir, the why question is just a silly question. <laughs> don't look for a purpose because if you look for a purpose, you're seeking madness. If you find one, you are sure mad. The reactions were very genuine because let's face it, when you look at the complexity of the human being, when you look at the complexity of life and the harmony of life on our planet. The whole thing is just mental, isn't it really? When you look at the complexity and harmony of the orbiting of the moons and the planets and the stars, it is enough to make anybody reflect and go, you know what? Alhamdulillah. This cannot have come just by chance. You've got on the bottom left Vic, who's like your typical neo-atheist who believes that science has the answers to everything. The problem is no one can prove that. And nothing we prove for anything, that's the issue. You no, can't no, prove, it's, you can't prove the science. You can't prove stuff with science. You can't prove stuff with science. And I thought, you know what, let's explore this a bit further and let's see if what Vic says holds true or if it crumbles. Yeah, because a video like this, of course, them watching it should make any reasonable person go, you know what, there must be a creator. Yeah, you look at a piece of art, immediately you ask, wow, this is amazing. Who's the artist? Wow, that was an amazing piece of literary genius, frankly. Who's the author? Or you see an amazing building and you go, wow, I'd love to have the architect build my house. And naturally speaking, in all these scenarios, you're thinking, who, who, who created it? But why is it that we have convinced ourselves that to assume there to be a creator of everything around us is ridiculous? Mashallah. Because look, here Toby admits, because he's a Christian, that he believes that there's a creator. But look how awkward it becomes and how they laugh at him and how it's seen as a ridiculous answer. We do, we do know. What makes you mean? Yeah, God. Right. Jesus, but Jesus. we don't know that. We don't know that. Card. <laughs> I believe that. <laughs> <laughs> but what people like Vic and people who don't believe in a God don't realize is these individuals also have a belief system. Yeah, they believe that the laws of physics will remain constant. Yeah, you've got the constant of the speed of light. You've got the constant of gravity. Yeah, these are all constants. Whilst you've got people like Rupert Sheldrake that say, I've seen that big G fluctuates, then I would actually assume as 
our solar system our as earth is going through the galaxy then surely big G would be fluctuating but science refuses to accept that they believe the integrity of the collection of data and experiments. You haven't seen all the fossils, you haven't witnessed the Big Bang so you can't use the scientific method. You trust the people that have done the method. To assume that all scientists are people of integrity and without greed or any negative motive is quite absurd because they're human beings at the end of the day. Yeah, And we've seen enough movies like The Amazing Spider-Man and Venom and you name it where scientists have got power hungry and you know, done some really questionable stuff. Bring in the next volunteer. Of course that's a reflective of what's going on in reality as well because you see academics who challenge Darwinism, they're discredited. For example, uh, you got Warwick Collins and Richard Milton and if you want more cases they can be found in a documentary called Expelled, No Intelligence Allowed. Yeah, you've got other people who put forward theories that go against the mainstream like you've got Wilhelm who put forward the theory of orgone, you've got Rupert Sheldrake who put forward the theory of morphic res resonance. And these aren't no you know little fish, I mean Rupert Sheldrake's from Cambridge, yeah he's involved with Harvard like he's no small fish because some people confuse scientism which as a worldview to the scientific method yeah these two are totally different whenever you ask scientists about big questions they say we'll find the answer we don't know at the moment we don't know how the first living organism came on this planet we don't know but we will find the answer it's belief in fact you've got an authority in uh, physics Michao Kaku yeah <laughs> listen to what he has to say you're not going to believe this in science we always say that you make observations you have a theory you go make more observations and it's a very very tedious process. Wrong. Nobody that I know of in my field un, uh, uses the so-called scientific method. In our field it's by the seat of your pants, it's leaps of logic, it's guesswork. Even the biggest advocate of atheism himself says that he's not an atheist rather a very convinced agnostic. Why don't you call yourself an agnostic then? I do. Um, <laughs> but but I, but I think it's a. I think it's you a are rather, described as I the world's rather, most famous atheist. Well, not by me. <laughs> <laughs> not by me. And the thing I will say about Vic, yeah, and this is something that needs to be reflected on. Paradigm shift is when the complete scientific world gets flipped on its head. And this has happened a good couple of times. It happened when there was a shift between the steady state theory, believing that the universe had no beginning, to the Big Bang theory. Another shift was Newtonian physics, yeah, which was based upon Isaac Newton, to Einsteinian physics. And you know what, there might even be another paradigm shift within science. Yeah, I'm sure you guys heard about a week ago, they most likely found another force now an international team of scientists working on a project in the United States say that they have discovered strong evidence for the existence of a new force of nature. The British funders of the research say that scientists are on the precipice of a new era of physics. Science is by its nature bound to change, bound to metamorphosize and evolve and change and that's absolutely fine but for us to take this system and claim that it has the answers to everything that's not it's not fair. Science has limitations and the limitations are that it cannot deal with certain questions and of those questions it cannot deal with are metaphysical questions by necessity, okay, mathematical questions once again by necessity because you cannot put numbers under a microscope, moral questions because such moral questions cannot be put under a microscope when you say moral questions yeah questions like is abortion right is abortion wrong questions ah. like this how or what is good what is bad what is evil? good what is bad what mm -hmm. is evil all of those questions really the scientific method has no access to those questions that's why they are relegated to or even discussed in separate spheres of philosophy for example moral philosophy um or it could be religion and so for that reason science has limitations and its job really its job is to, to detail for us what nature looks like and how it operates. So it answers what questions and how questions very well, but it just does not have the capability of answering why questions. Alhamdulillah. So those of you that are watching that are confused, I would definitely suggest, look, 
Next time you're sitting by yourself, just raise your hands in prayer, whatever way you feel comfortable and say, God, if you're there, please guide me. Please guide me. I'm confused. I really need your guidance. I really need your help. And just like you guys watch YouTube videos and all of that, SC Dawa, that YouTube channel, it follows people debating on Hyde Park Speakers Corner, people of different faiths and ideologies debating and discussing. I'm going to link it in the description. Definitely check out these, these videos. Inshallah. And guys, looking at the complexity of Earth and our universe, it's absurd to think that we have just come by chance. So I guess it makes sense when astrophysicist Hugh Ross said that the chance of our planet existing in the universe is so rare that he calculated it to be 1 over 10 to the power 30. People of religion are not the best of role models, but that doesn't mean that you take the actions of a few to decide your entire fate. All right, guys, I hope you benefited from that video. Until next time. Uh, mashallah. Assalamu alaikum.